value is more than just a great price. That's why this segment is brought to you by Pick and Pay. Now it's that time of the year again, time for colds and flus and congestion and sinus infections. And to help alleviate or prevent these winter irritations, we have Francis Katz from Pick and, Pay, Pick and Pay Pharmacy here today, who's going to be telling us the difference between humidifiers and nebulizers and why we need them in our lives. Good morning, Francis. How are you? Good morning. I'm well. How are you? I'm very, very good. Thank you. Now, you know, I don't necessarily know what, what these two are about. What, what is a nebulizer? and what is a humidifier okay let's start with the nebulizer yeah nebulizers are used for people that have respiratory problems okay. like asthma or any kind of emphysema yeah. any respiratory problem or disease okay. and what a nebulizer does it actually takes medication that mm -hmm. your doctor would prescribe yeah. and make it into a tiny 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 sized droplet almost into a mist okay. and then that mist can actually penetrate into the lungs into yeah. the smaller alveoli of the lung because wow. if um, inhaled medication yeah. are not if the molecules are not small enough okay. it won't be able to penetrate right oh, into the lungs okay, so this is a way of mm -hmm. getting medication right into the lungs okay. um, yeah you you also get it in in meter dose inhalers mm. but um, you need to know exactly how to inhale that okay. properly so that it doesn't stay in the mouth oh, okay, this see. way it actually goes right through into the lungs so how does this work particularly you, you um, just... what you do I'm going to show you mm -hmm. you you've got your little machine yes. and then you've got a tube the mm -hmm. one side you just plug it or sort of put into the machine yeah. and on this side you have the little container you'll probably see it's marked yeah, there it, yeah. where you would then open that and then you put in the medication yes. that doctors prescribed it's normally little ampules you'll put it in there close this again and then you can either put on a mouthpiece mm -hmm. which you will then inhale this yes. way but it also comes with a mask which is normally given to elderly patients that battle to breathe because you've got to breathe like slowly for yeah. 10 to 15 okay. minutes okay. and especially for children children oh, wow. don't often like sitting awesome. with us so in the just mouth this over your, yeah over your you mouth put it like there yours. and then you switch it on it's a little bit noisy okay. but there we go and just inhale just awesome. breathe for slowly five to ten minutes. At the moment, you're not really inhaling anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if the medication was in there, you okay. just breathe as normal, and that medication will go straight to the lungs. Okay. If you've just joined us, there's nothing wrong with me. We're just demonstrating <laughs> what a nebulizer <laughs> is and how you would use it. Um, this, well, it makes such a noise. You suddenly you can't take it with you to work. So no, this is probably one that you would keep at home. Okay. But they've brought out um, quite nice other models that oh. are as you can see this one quite okay. small you can carry yes, it with you it actually comes in a little carry bag okay. that you can carry over your shoulder nice. um, comes with a mask mm -hmm. um, at home you can actually charge it okay. and then it will be charged and you can take it just like this Very cool. or if you're traveling far you can okay. take a charger that you can just plug into your Great. lighter in the yeah. car and then, so this course, is, and they're not as noisy both of yeah. these doesn't have this huge noise this one one is okay. making. And then this is our humidifier. Yes, Quickly, that's what does the this difference. one do again? Humidifier, very dry conditions mm -hmm. where you, if you've got sinus, colds and flu, congested, yeah. put it on at night or during the day when you're wow. at home in the room. It just puts moisture into the yeah. air and by doing that it will moisturize the nasal passages, the throat and that's all the awesome. phlegm will be able to come loose and come Because out. when I travel, I mean especially you know when you go up country, up north. you find mm. that you have a very dry throat, you have a burning nose, this would help alleviate Absolutely. that? Absolutely and also yeah. it's very good for the skin oh, because hello. it's moisturizing um, the air. So awesome. this you would put in your room and okay. I'd say especially at night. Wonderful stuff. Thank you so much Franca. I think Pleasure. we're, we're all educated on the benefits of having either a nebulizer or a humidifier in our homes. It's just going to make our lives a whole lot easier. But to make our lives a whole lot more entertaining, let's go over to the guys from Good Up FM with G Sport. Stay with Espresso and SABC3.